Hello, folks, and welcome back to, um, <laughs> well, I almost forgot the name of this game. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego Treasures of Knowledge? All right, today and tomorrow, tomorrow will be the finale, but today we still have another treasure to get. Do you know why King Louis II was called Mad King Ludwig? Neuschwanstein Castle that he built here in the Bavarian Alps. Looks like it came out of a fairy tale. Poor Ludwig just spent too much of the taxpayers' money. I'm glad he built the castle, but I can see why they thought he was crazy. Speaking of odd behavior, we need to figure out where Carmen San Diego has that statue stashed. If you're right, it's the last of the seven items in the Explorer's wheel design, and the final key to finding out what Carmen's really up to. All right, let's see, what is Carmen up to? Here According somewhere. to my briefing, this is a secret Acme field office. Nice. I'll go ahead and give the secret knock. The chief thought they might have something for us. Oh, what is that? Yeehaw! An Acme grapple launcher! I used one of these in training. Oh, you're going to love it. Be still, my beating heart. One more thing to carry that we'll probably never need. Just you wait and see. Or well, we're going to need all right. Alrighty, let's see what else. Huh. Hello? Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? We're wondering about the clock tower. Is there any way to... Get in? Through the door, of course. We used to have it propped open, but somebody slammed it shut. So, is there a key or something? Not a key like you're thinking of. My great-great-grandfather made that door, and he put together quite an amazing lock for it. Unfortunately, the five pieces of the lock were sold off as antiques many years ago. They're quite valuable, you know. Do you know where any of them are today? The only record I've ever found led to a collector named Annie Darby, who bought them back in 1885. She owned a hotel in Leadville, Colorado. You know, in America. Colorado? Not exactly around the corner. Carmen always does this. Leads us all over the world. Well, Danke schön. Thank you so much, sir. You've been a great help. Okay. Guess we're gonna go to Colorado? Feel free to look around the village. Oh, so you're gonna grab your, um... Feel free to look around the village. I was looking at other things besides the village. Okay. Well, this is a complicated lock. We'll need to locate all the pieces before we can fix it. Yep. We'll... Yeah, I had a hard time with that one. Anything else? What else we got? Uh, anything in this direction? Oh. Oh, we got some drumsticks up here? Nice. <laughs> what on earth are these? Are they German? I haven't seen a pair of these for quite a while. Australian clapsticks. Some aborigines there use them for making music. But what are they doing in Germany? Could it be another clue as to where the lady in red has stashed that statue? So we have both Colorado and, um, and uh, Australia so far. Yeah, yeah, I was... We don't need any of that. What else we got? When I toured Germany in college, I stayed in a pension that looked like that. Tourists come from all over the world to visit Germany's villages and take in the scenery. When I toured Germany in college, oh. I stayed in a pension that looked like that. All right, Tourists come from you. all over the world to visit. All right, we already heard you. Okay. So let's go to um, Colorado first. Have you ever visited the Grand Canyon? I went there once as a child. It's pretty spectacular. Well, it says here that it's ranked as one of the seven natural wonders of the world. I'm not surprised. The Hotel Darby. Every time I come to Colorado, I'm struck by how huge the Rocky Mountains are. Don't think I would have hiked across the Appalachian Mountains and the Great Plains to mine silver here. The first pioneers that headed west sure were tough. Yeah, they were some rugged folks. Yep. We've got lots of interesting stuff to see here in the Darby Hotel. Feel free to look around. All right, what do we have down here? Oh. That's a mola from Panama. The Kuna Indians are famous for this type of embroidery. 
So what's it doing in a hotel in Colorado? It was left in a room upstairs. I tried contacting the person who stayed there, but the phone number had been disconnected. Gee, well, I think we also need to go to Panama. Anything else we can look at? Mount McKinley. A German cuckoo clock. Hmm. I wonder if it was made in that Bavarian village. Oh, huh, yeah, it was very possible. That's a photo of Mount McKinley in Alaska. It's the highest point in the United States, 20,230 feet. I've tried climbing it, but we were forced back by bad weather. You know, I'm afraid of heights. You wouldn't get me one foot on that mountain. The owner must have been quite a world traveler. That's Petra, the ancient city in Jordan, carved out of solid rock. I remember Carmen saying that she worked there on an archaeological dig, back before she joined Acme. Do we have to go to Jordan, too? Anything up here? The bald eagle is the national bird of the United States. Okay, tell me something I don't know. Thank you. Here's Rock in That's Australia. That's Uluru, in the Australian Outback. Oh, yeah, um... Oh, yeah, they changed the name back to the Aborigine name. Forgot about that, folks. That's one of my favorite paintings. Washington crossing the Delaware in 1776. Said to be the turning point in the American Revolution. And he did it all without any electronic gadgets. Amazing. <laughs> Chief Joseph was the famous leader of the Nez Perce people. When the United States government insisted that they leave their lands to allow white settlers to move in, he courageously resisted their demands. Okay, oh. Well, I thought that was a note. Okay, guess not. I don't see anything else here. There are all kinds of folks staying here right now. Check out our guest book. Uh, do, can I check the guest book? Hey, Hawkins, check this out. Look at this name in the guest book. Diane Goss from Irma, N.C. N.C.? That's North Carolina, right? But I've never heard of a town called Irma in North Carolina. That's because there isn't one. Look, rearrange the letters in Irma, N.C., and you get Carmen. And Diane Goss rearranged is San Diego. Do you remember this woman? Oh, sure. Diane Goss? She is really something. Insisted on staying in Annie Darby's room. You know, the room we recently opened? See, Annie built this hotel, a real colorful character. She traveled all over the world collecting stuff. Check out her room if you like. It's a trip. Here's the key. Up the stairs and straight ahead. Can't miss it. Well, I appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. All right. Oh, there's that, there's that design again. Look at that stained glass in the window, Hawkins. It's the Explorer symbol. We're on the right track. We got right no, I thought that was it. Okay, what do we got here? Oh boy! Check this out, Hawkins. The cross stitch held the key to where Annie Darby hid the explorer's diary. The diary mentions a great treasure, and Carmen's been at it again. She's stolen the cross stitch from the display case. I better jot that down in my journal. That explorer keeps cropping up. You know, Jules, you're starting to convince me that that explorer's treasure and Carmen San Diego are connected. Maybe we do need to find that diary. There's something over here. A note. Let's see if we can figure out what it oh, says. Boy. I don't even need to use one of my gadgets to feel Carmen San Diego's presence here. Gee, you figure. I'm assuming that'll go here. That goes here. I'm assuming this will go here. I'm assuming this will go here.
the Golden Lion. Hey, that rings a bell. You got it, partner. We paid a visit to it back in Cape Town, South Africa. Yes, we did. Looks like our friends at Vile have been doing a lot of sailing since then. What do you say, Chief? Good job, agents. Looks like you're one step closer to solving this case. According to my sources, the Golden Lion is still in vile hands. You'd better see if you can locate that boat. It may be tough, Chief. The Amazon's a huge river. All right. What else is there here? Else? What a breathtaking sight. Annie must have loved this view. The Rockies are incredible, running more than 3,000 miles through Canada and the United States. Pretty neat and all, Jules, but I'm surprised I'm the one reminding us to keep looking for the stolen statue. Wouldn't it be great if we could beat Carmen San Diego to that hidden treasure? Oh, I'd really like to see the look on her face if we got there first. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, anything else? That book, there's nothing on the book. It's just this. Nothing on these paintings or clocks or... Okay, um... We've got lots of interesting stuff to see here in the Darby Hotel. Feel free to look around. All right, um... Let's see where, um, what we have. Panama. We got Australia. And we still, well, South Africa, well, we can't go. Oh. Did she say the Amazon? So, yeah, we got Brazil, too. Let's go Australia first. The outback is, what, the whole central and western part of Australia? Yeah, and it's hot and dry in a big way. I once heard that they call their ranches there stations. <laughs> Would you look at that? Ayers Rock. Actually, it's officially called Uluru. That's its aborigine name. It's a mile and a half long and a thousand feet high, full of little caves, some even with aboriginal rock paintings. Cool. Now if we can just figure out if Carmen San Diego has been frequenting the area. I hear it's also closed off to the public too. The area around Uluru is now a national park. Did you know that Uluru means Great Pebble in the Aboriginal language? Great Pebble. I love it. Did that just about that. sums it up. There's a gecko over there on that rock. Australia sure has a lot of different animals. Kangaroos, wallabies, poisonous snakes, poisonous frogs. I could go on and on. Yep, and we're not saving you 15 minutes on car insurance either, folks. Whoever stayed there found the Australian desert a tough place to live, surviving on less than 10 inches of rain a year. I did notice a certain lack of drinking fountains around here. Salt bushes are common in the Australian desert. Apparently, they have a salty taste and make great cattle food. Try one. I'm hungry, but not that hungry. Wait, isn't the explorer's treasure hidden behind a huge boulder in the desert? Do you suppose... Agents, I definitely think you should poke around that hideout. But be careful. If you're seen, you could blow the whole mission. Stay in touch. Chief out. Oh, jeez. What's this? It's a vile message container. I did a report on this stuff at the Acme Academy. Let's open it and see what it says. Looks like we need to head to the deepest lake in the world. Check your database. But I wonder, did they leave this here for us to find or did someone misplace it? Does Carmen want us to follow her? Nonsense. We're just ace detectives. She's probably quaking in her boots. Ha, uh, I don't think so. I think she's, she just likes having fun. Obviously a vile hideout, protected by some sort of security access device. Vile security doors require a key card to enter. Each key card can be set to open a single door. The trick is finding a card that will work here. I'm going to jot this down to remind us to keep our eyes open. Okay. Well, good. I'm sure we'll be coming back here. Whoever stayed there found the Australian desert a tough place to live, surviving on less than 10 inches of rain a year. 
Yeah, I already heard that. Okay. Um, Panama? No, there's something in Panama. Panama. I'm psyched. Last time I was here, I stayed in the capital. You know, Panama City. And I bet you're hungry for Panamanian food. How did you know? They have this dish called gaucho, kind of rice and beans thing. Yum. And there's also tortillas, flatbread made of corn or flour, and plantains. I know, a large type of banana usually cooked. Can we please talk about something else now? There it is, the famed Panama Canal. When did they dig that? It opened in 1914. Took 10 years to build. Thank you, Agent Fact Finder. Let's see. The Isthmus of Panama, Costa Rica's to our north, Colombia is south. Just getting my bearings. Acme informants have noted some vile activity around here. Also here. Oh! Oh, well, we have to use a scene. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Well, well, well. This just goes to show that nothing can be hidden from Shadow Hawkins, Ace Detective. It's a piece of that fancy lock back in Bavaria. Those vile agents obviously don't know who they're up against. But unfortunately, Carmen does. She may be wanting us to trail her. We just don't know. Got four more of these to go. Although more than 15,000 ships per year passed through the Panama Canal in the 1970s, some of today's major merchant ships and tankers are too large to travel through the canal. Well, that's all we got here. There's something in Brazil, maybe? So are there as many people in the Amazon as there are in some of the other places we've been to in Brazil? Well, Although Brazil has the sixth largest population in the world, there's a lot of land, too. The fifth largest country. And where we're going, there's a lot more country than people. There may not be a lot of people who live in Brazil's Amazon Basin, but I've heard there are plenty of piranhas. You know, man-eating fish. You're not going to catch me cooling off in this river. I've heard piranhas think Acme rookies are especially tasty. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, we do have the golden line right here. We finally found it. The golden lion again. Let's check it out quickly. I have a weird feeling like we're being watched. Yeah, we don't know when the owners might return. So let's get us to go. Look, Hawkins. The missing cross stitch from the Darby Hotel. And it's got some kind of poem on it. It must be the key to where Annie Darby hid the explorer's diary. And hidden in a didgeridoo. So, Jules, why did Carmen San Diego hide the cross stitch in an Aboriginal music maker? Could it be a clue? I'll note it in my journal. And there's the chief. Something may be up. Agents, are you still on that boat? Hurry up and finish your search. My informants tell me a vile henchman has been spotted heading toward the river. Will do, chief. Just a few places left to look. Crap. It must be a piece of that fancy Bavarian lock. Oh boy, Carmen San Diego is going to be mad. But is she? She's smarter than that, I know she is. Sometimes I wonder if she's leading us along, wanting us to follow her. You'll never know. There's nothing else in this compartment. This boat's been doing a lot of traveling since Cape Town. Looks like it's been through the Indonesian Islands again, and the Panama Canal. Well... Anything else? Alright, let's go. The Amazon is the world's largest tropical rainforest. It represents about half of the world's remaining rainforest. Not the sort of place you want to lose your car keys. Yeah, not smart. Oh, let's go to Indonesia. Have you ever been to the Indonesian capital, Jakarta? No, I'm excited to see it, though. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but we're not going to make it there this time. What? Is this a job or something? I thought this was a sightseeing tour. Don't tell me. There are all sorts of wild animals here that would be happy to eat me alive. No, just a few tigers and Komodo dragons in Indonesia. But don't worry, I know karate. And that's supposed to make me feel better? All right, let's get to work. Grab your trusty flashlight and let's find some clues. Don't 
don't know where to look. Really don't know where to look, but we'll find something. Where were we? We were looking for some clues. Do we need to call the chief for help? We'll find another wheel here, possibly. I'm not sure. If we get really stuck, we can always call the chief for help. I'm looking! Shut up! Brighter than the rest of it. Okay. okay. Initiate search procedure Delta 3XA. Let's just do what detectives do best. Okay, let's just go over here then. Oh, there we go. One of the pieces of the lock for that Bavarian clock tower. Those vile agents love hiding stuff in this cave. Great. We better get out of here before one of them shows up. Chief? I agree, agents. The Acme scanner monitoring the island has just mysteriously malfunctioned. Get going before... Uh -oh. Before what, Chief? Before Carmen San Diego finds out where they are? I always know where they are. Haven't captured me yet, have you, Mr. Rookie? By the way, good luck finding the statue. You're thousands of miles off target. Just thought you'd like to know. See you around. Chief! Chief! Are you still there? Can you trace that transmission? Not with our scanner out of commission. She could be anywhere. New Zealand, Russia. You'll just have to keep following her trail from where it left off. Stay in touch and get going. Chief out. Yes, sir. All right. Um. Uh, let's see. Where else do I need to go? You know, let's go back to Colorado. I was just thinking about Thanksgiving and the Fourth of July. You making vacation plans? No, I was just thinking about holidays in the United States. I really like Thanksgiving. My family would always eat lots of turkey and remember the pilgrims and early settlers giving thanks for a bountiful harvest. And the 4th of July celebrates all the freedoms Americans enjoy. This town is over 10,000 feet high. 10,430 to be exact. In 1877, when they found silver here, Leadville must have been booming. Harry Houdini, the famous magician, even put on a show in their opera house. I wonder if Carmen learned some of her tricks from him. Mm -hmm. Well, he would have been dead. We have got lots of interesting stuff to see here in the Darby Hotel. Feel free to look around. Well, I was kind of hoping that, um, oh. It's exactly noon, and look, the light's shining onto this spot on the floor, just like the poem said. I'm going to see if I can lift up the floorboard. So, Jules, uh, nice. where's this diary you're so excited about? Oh no, it looks like Carmen beat us to it. But she must have thought this was a good hiding place because she left a piece of the Bavarian lock. But I still wonder, could she purposely be leading us somewhere? Well, right now this lock piece seems more important than that old diary. I'm going to stash it in my clue inventory. Well, good. All right. And I... And I Global transportation. Remember, something about the deepest lake in the world, I think, is in Russia. I'm really excited to finally see Siberia, and especially Lake Baikal. Apparently, there are thousands of plants and fish in this area that are found nowhere else on Earth. Like the Baikal seal, found only in Lake Baikal. Well, brace yourself, because it's cold. Come on, how cold could it be? So this is Lake Baikal, the blue eye of Siberia. I didn't know the deepest lake on Earth was in Russia. I can tell that you're getting ready to stump me with questions about Siberia. Not exactly, Jules. Let's have a look around. 
Carmen may have left a clue anywhere. All right. The people who live here in Siberia are a hardy group, sometimes enduring temperatures nearing 60 degrees below zero. It is cold here. Carmen's probably laughing at us right now. Watch this! Not bad, Hawkins. You're pretty good with that thing. Thanks, Jules. Uh, don't mention it. This is an old gear, obviously part of the mechanical lock at the clock tower. Alright, we got all of our stuff. Anything else to get here? The lake's surface is frozen solid from around January to May. Nope, so let's get out of here. Let's go back to Germany. We sure are racking up the frequent flyer miles, aren't we? All right, let's skip the tourist stuff and get to work. It was quite a hunt, but we've got all the pieces. Now let's put the lock together. Being mechanically minded myself, it appears that the gear with both kinds of teeth would fit in the center. That way, the gears with the same teeth would belong on the same side. Okay, well, so I'm gonna go with this one then based off that information. right that uh, doesn't look right you know what? let's try this no I want this here Nope. So maybe this go here? Yeah. Here we go. What's this? Some old book. I thought we were going to nab Carmen San Diego and that Julius Caesar statue. Old book? Let me see. It's the diary. The explorer's missing diary. Look. It holds the key to finding his treasure. Hey, you're right. That's why she's been stealing the gems. The treasure is what she's after. It says that there are seven key items, just like I thought. We've got to find that missing statue of Julius Caesar, Hawkins, or we won't be able to open the lock. That's not our only problem. Where has Carmen San Diego hidden the gems? Huh. All right, so... We got, where's that key card at? What is that sound? It's uh -oh. getting louder. Look, Hawkins, over the rooftops. It's, it's her. So you found the diary. Too bad you won't be able to use it. She wouldn't dare. She would. Look out, Jules. Take that. Need more practice, rookie? <laughs> Bye for now, Jules. Enjoy your little victory while you can. She's gone. So much for the Acme Grapple Launcher, Hawkins. Don't talk too soon, Jules. Check out what I snagged from Ms. Carmen San Diego. Oh, key card. Well, looky here. A vile access key card. And check out that flag symbol, Jules. That looks familiar. Yay. Yes, we can use here. Absolutely not. All right. This one wasn't as bad as it has. So been. check this out. The Australian outback is so huge that school children get their school lessons through the mail or over the radio. I've heard that. And doctors often fly in a plane to visit patients. I've even heard that cattle farmers use helicopters to round up their cattle. It's wild to think that the earliest human inhabitants of Australia, the Aborigines, came from Asia through Indonesia. It is wild. Wouldn't have been easy living in the outback of Australia, much different than living by the coast in Sydney. Of course. Here we go. Where's our... 
love that music, the timpani and everything. Love it. There he is. All right, we're in. Hmm. Well, this hideout certainly isn't where the great treasure is hidden. Maybe not. But look over there. The final item. You're right. The missing bust of Julius Caesar. And the missing piece to the puzzle of the lost city and the explorer's treasure. And you can bet your gadgets that wherever the treasure is, Carmen won't be far behind. That statue is an interesting piece of work. With the wheel symbol, of course, and no gem. Hmm. Julius Caesar was one of the greatest leaders of Rome. Under his leadership, the empire expanded to include much of Western Europe. Wonder how old this thing is. Around 2,000 years old, around the height of Caesar's power as the dictator of Rome. Agents, congratulations. Excellent work. I'm sure that you're getting really close to wrapping up this case. I know you were disappointed not to snag Carmen San Diego this time, but you may still get your chance. Do you know where she is? Well, not exactly, but we have a good lead. Acme agents have reported some mysterious goings-on in a lighthouse off the coast of Scotland. It's supposed to be abandoned, but lately there's been reports of a light shining out on foggy nights. A local fisherman mentioned someone matching Carmen San Diego's description. I want you both to investigate. We're on that, Chief, and we better not waste any time. If my hunch is correct, she's headed for that lost city. Not if we stop her first. Agents Hawkins and Argent, out! All right, we got one final mission to go. Find that lost treasure and capture Carmen San Diego. Will we, or will she fly the coop again and go uncaptured? Find out on the finale next time on. Let's play Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? Treasures of Knowledge.